Mom and Dad must be planning to give you to me for my birthday tomorrow. I'm going to call him Prince Frederick. <sighs> I'll see you soon, Prince Frederick. Choco and I have to go now. Hurry, Choco. Looks like they need our help in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Oh, Rainbow Ruby, I'm so glad you're here. You look worried, Mayor Ling Ling. How can I help? Oh, my, oh, my. Princess Kiki invited Prince Frederick to visit Rainbow Village. They've been pen pals for a long time. Now he's finally here. She must be so happy to meet him. Oh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> the problem is, huh? she threw him a big party at the Rainbow Village restaurant, but it's not going well. The prince isn't having a good time. <gasps> Poor Kiki. I'll go see how I can help. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Good luck. Wow. Ha! Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <clears throat> Royal Crumpet, Prince Frederick. Um, okay. Thank you. <gasps> oh, Rainbow Ruby, huh? thank goodness you're here. This isn't going well at all. Huh? Everything looks beautiful, Kiki. What's the problem? Everyone seems to be having a nice time, except for my guest of honor, Prince Frederick. <sighs> hmm, he doesn't look like he's having much fun, does he? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I need anything. But first, I've got a <laughs> prince to find. <laughs> wow. Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. The nature in Rainbow Village is fascinating. Frederick, uh, but you can call me Frederick. Oh, pleased to meet you, Frederick. I'm Rainbow Ruby, and this is my friend Felicia. Hmm? Huh? Huh? <laughs> hmm, I've never seen wings quite like that. What kind of bug are you? Uh, huh? I beg your pardon. I'm a fairy. <laughs> you really like bugs and nature and stuff, huh, Frederick? 
I sure do. There's nothing quite as wonderful as nature's creatures. Oh, look! Huh? A purple sparkle wing! Hmm. That's it! Frederick loves bugs, so I'll throw him a buggy bonanza party. Felicia, I could really use your help. Helping is our specialty. Great. If you can keep him distracted, I can start party planning. We're on it, Rainbow Ruby. We've got a lot of work to do, Chaco. You'll need decorations, food, and entertainment for a one-of-a-kind, prince-pleasing party. like Prince Frederick is truly enjoying the party. <laughs> it sure does. Huh? But now I don't think Kiki is. What's wrong, <sighs> Princess Kiki? Aren't you enjoying the party? Oh, you did such a lovely job, Rainbow Ruby. I'm so grateful that Frederick is finally enjoying himself. Oh. Uh, I guess princesses are just more huh? used to royal balls than hmm. bugs. You're right, Kiki. This party is all about Prince Frederick, but you should both be able to enjoy the party. Hmm, there must be a way to combine Frederick's love of nature with Princess Kiki's royal tastes. Kiki! Did you really like it? I know how much you liked your bug party. But I also wanted to show you a bit of my royal style. I love it! I can't believe you did all this for me. I couldn't have done any of it without help from my friends. Especially <laughs> Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Frederick, meet Princess Kiki. Kiki, this is Frederick. I see you found your birthday present. Oh, I'm sorry, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's paint a picture, Choco. Let's see. How about a purple bird in a green tree? Hmm. Aw, I only have red, yellow, and blue. <gasps> I know. I can mix them to make other colors. Uh, uh, huh? <gasps> Uh-oh, I spilled. <laughs> up later. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Rainbow Village is a wet, drippy, colorful mess. I was delivering a package when all of a sudden something went splat on my scooter. And squished huh? in my ship. Huh? Uh, and left spots on my dress. <laughs> uh oh, Jessie's messy. Oh no, this is all because of me. The paint I spilled is all over Rainbow Village. and the village has come to a complete stop. It's too slippery and messy to go out and about. Can you help us, Rainbow Ruby? I'll try my best, Ling Ling, but it's going to take a team effort to get all this cleaned up. Excuse me, Rainbow Ruby. It's just that, well, princesses don't really like to get messy or do huh? clean-up chores. Kiki, we need everyone's help for a job this big. And if we all work together, it won't be so bad. It might even be fun. <gasps> hmm. To be helpful, I can't be afraid to get messy. I'll need lots of energy for a job this big. And I'll need to make sure everyone's in a good mood so they'll want to help. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. <laughs> by being a cleanup engineer. I'll put a cleanup team together to wash away all this paint and make Rainbow Village sparkle. This apron will keep my clothes from getting dirty. I have rubber gloves to protect my hands, a bucket, sponge, and soap for wiping up the spilled paint, some spray cleaner, and a window washer. This is going to take some teamwork. Ready to clean, everybody? Oh. <laughs>
afraid not. You guys have done a great job, but we still have to clean Town Hall and the beauty shop. Oh. <laughs> hmm, let's see. We need something to keep us going. Something fun. Like a game! Yes. Oh, oh, I love games! <laughs> we can have a cleanup relay race. <laughs> One team will clean Town Hall, and the other team will clean the beauty shop. First team to finish cleaning wins! <laughs> Ready, everyone? Uh -huh. On your mark, get set, clean! <laughs> Soapy water. Mm -hmm. But first, mm -hmm. these poppies need to get clean. Into the fountain you go. <laughs> now it's time to get soapy and clean that paint. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and a little music always makes cleaning.
guess there's still a lot more cleanup to do. <laughs> Would this help? Huh? It won't take long if we do it together. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Can I bring you anything to help you feel better? Like you always do for me when I'm sick? Oh, thanks, honey. It's just a cold. I'll take some vitamin C, honey and lemon, chicken soup, but mainly lots of rest. Oh, starting now. Okay, Mom. I hope you feel better. Thanks, hon. Hmm? Oh, someone needs help in Rainbow Village. Hurry, Choco. Time to go. so much for coming. I need your help with the mayor's ball, and I was on my way to greet you when I was overwhelmed by a great sneeze. We heard. <sighs> Ling Ling, you don't look well. I'm afraid I have a bit of a runny nose. <sighs> and for some reason, I keep sni... Huh? Sni... Uh, <gasps> 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 A sneeze. That was a trunk tornado. Huh? Oh no! Ah! Poor Ling Ling. Oh my! I can't stop sneezing and messing up all of the decorations for the mayor's ball tonight. You don't want to do that. Let's see. I need to find a way to take good care of you and help you feel better. Oh. Hmm? Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow. How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to save the day? I can help by being a doctor. That's the perfect job to take care of someone who's not feeling well. I have a thermometer to take Ling Ling's temperature to see if he has a fever. And an otoscope to look in his eyes and nose. <laughs> <laughs> a prescription pad to write down things to do to get better. And my rainbow medical book with all of the information I need to find out what's wrong. Oh! And I can use this stethoscope to listen to Ling Ling's heartbeat. Come, Ling Ling, I'm taking you to the medical clinic to examine you. Greetings, friends. Ling Ling. I brought you more pink princess posies for the mayor's ball. They're from my royal garden. Thank you for carrying my flowers, Thunderbell. Would you please take these inside as well? Oh, uh, uh, sure thing, Princess Kiki. <laughs> Thank you, Princess Kiki. That's very kind of you. Goodness, it sounds like someone has the sniffles. Here, you can use my royal hanky. This is what princesses are supposed to do. Uh, 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 oh. Sorry. Oh. Princess Kiki, while I help Ling Ling get better, would you please work on getting the ballroom ready? 
You mean get ready for my royal entrance? She means the ballroom's not going to be ready for tonight by magic. Someone's got to decorate it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Princess Kiki. I'll help ya. Thanks, Gina. You and Kiki can get the ballroom ready while I help Ling Ling get over his cold. Come on, Princess. Let's get some friends together and get to work. Oh. Let's get started. Thermometer, please, Nurse Choco. First, I'm going to take your temperature, Ling Ling. We have to wait a little bit to see what your real temperature is, so I'll listen to your heartbeat next. Have a look. Huh? Temperature normal? I usually get a little temperature when I have a cold. Maybe I didn't leave it in long enough. Now we'll look in your eyes. Hmm, both eyes red and watery. Now let's check your trunk. <laughs> Nice save, Choco. Well, it doesn't look like you have a fever, Ling Ling. Ears, throat, and mouth good. Herping and breathing good. No stuffed up. Eyes all red and watery, but no fever. Hmm. Honey and lemon tea and a nice nap. Should help you feel as good as new. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Hot tea makes me drowsy. Ah. You don't have to worry about a thing, Ling Ling. I'll stay with you. Choco will check the ballroom. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. I'll close my eyes for just a... Better, thank you. No stuffiness, no itchy eyes. Ah, I'm not stuffy anymore. That's good, but colds don't usually go away so fast. Hey, Ling Ling. Huh. We wanted to let you know we finished decorating the ballroom. It looks fantastic. And we brought some of my pink princess posies to cheer you up. Why, thank you. I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I was feeling so much better. Your symptoms are back, Ling Ling. Strange. Colds don't usually come and go so fast. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? Allergies, but I was better. Yes, until the pink princess posies arrived. <clears throat> if my pink posies are fit for a princess, they're good enough for a mayor. How beautiful they smell. <sighs> Goodness, so sorry. <sighs> You have Sneezy Weezy Bouquet Allergy. You're allergic to Kiki's Pink Princess Posies. That means they make you sneeze and wheeze, but not everyone else. I sure am huh? lucky to have a wonderful doctor. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Welcome to the Mayor's Ball. Our special guest of honor is Rainbow Ruby. Without her help, I'd still be sneezing. Let the music begin. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. You really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special way. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. I hope you feel better soon, Mom. Huh? Just in case. Would you like to give it a name, Ruby? Huh? I sure would. I'll go to my room and start thinking of just mm. the right name right now. <laughs> Looks like we're needed in Rainbow Village, Choco. Ready, Choco? Mm. Rainbow Ruby, it's so good to see you. Something very fishy is going on. Something fishy? Why, yes. There's a very big fish in Rainbow Lake, and something seems to be wrong with him. Don't worry, Ling Ling. Now that Choco and I are here, whatever's wrong, we'll help make it right. Aww. What a beautiful fish. What's wrong with him, Gina? I think he hurt himself while we were playing, but I'm not sure. Don't worry, I'm here to help. But first, tell me what happened. Well, it all started when Jesse and I were heading home. care of him, we have to find out what kind of fish he is. Huh? Oh, hi, Rainbow Ruby. Is that a... Mm -hmm. 
shark <laughs> No, Thunderbell. I don't think he's a shark. And he's too big to be a goldfish, that's for sure. Let's see. Hey, he's not a fish at all. He's a dolphin. A baby dolphin. <laughs> that's the perfect name, Choco. So, little dolphin, how about we call you Dolph? Gina, Dolph probably scratched his flipper when he was stuck in the net. Don't worry, Dolph. This special medicine will help you feel better in no time. <laughs> now we'll put a bandage on it to keep it clean while it heals. <laughs> there! Looks like you're feeling better already. Looks like you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like delicious thunder fruit when you're hungry. <laughs> Eat up, Dolph. What are we gonna do, Rainbow Ruby? We have to feed him something. Mm-hmm. Let's see. It says here baby dolphins like milk. <laughs> Baby like Jessie sippy cup milk. I'm gonna find that net and make sure Dolph doesn't get stuck in it ever again. for you to swim home. Don't go. Oh. I know it's hard to say goodbye, Jesse, but Dolph needs to be with his dolphin family. Hey, how about we all go together to help Dolph find his family? <laughs> I think he's calling for his paw. What a group of dolphins is called. <laughs> Gosh, I don't see his pod anywhere. Maybe Dolph's pod can't hear him. Call them again, Dolph. Only this time, make your voice really loud. <laughs> Dolph's voice still isn't loud enough for them to hear. What are we gonna do? Hmm, maybe we can make dolphin <laughs> sounds too. Come on, everybody, let's help Dolph call his pod. Someday. <laughs> this ID tag 
will help us always recognize Dolph. And it will help us find him if he gets lost again. to make the noodles very long. Maybe long noodles should be called noodles. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> Look, Choco can do the limbo under the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> nice dancing, Choco. Huh? Uh, Mom, I think after that dancing, Choco needs a nap. Okay, honey. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Oh, thank goodness you're here, Rainbow Ruby. Today is our annual Rainbow Village Noodle Festival. The festival celebrates good health, and everyone has been looking forward to it all year. Noodle Festival? We love noodles! <laughs> I'm afraid the festival is in trouble. We really need your help. What's wrong, Ling Ling? Come with me. I'll show you. <laughs> tree here? <clears throat> of course. Our noodle tree grows long, long noodles and has a long, long life. Wow! I can't wait to see it! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> I've never been to a noodle festival before. No one looks very festive. What's everyone looking at? <laughs> Must be the noodle tree. But where are all the noodles? <laughs> What's the problem? The noodle tree has only grown two noodles this year. It's a disaster. Whatever shall we do? Maybe we should ask the noodle tree what's wrong. Hello, oh great noodle tree. Why have you only grown two noodles this year? Huh? The tree says it grows noodles for seven years. Then it takes a rest. Seven years? <gasps> Let's see. There was the year I ate six bowls of noodles, and the year I won the noodle race. And then was a friend of the kid. Oh, yep. It's been seven years. Oh, that means no noodle festival this year. <laughs> Rainbow Ruby, can you help save the noodle festival? Hmm. If the noodle tree won't make noodles this year, then I'll have to find another way. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my Rainbow Roller. I've 
want my chef's hat and apron in case things get messy. And a recipe book which tells me how to make perfect noodles. Using a rolling pin to roll out the dough, a strainer to take the noodles out of the hot water, bowls to serve them, and chopsticks to eat them. Come on, guys. Let's make oodles of noodles. <laughs> the ingredients we need are just flour and water and freshly washed hands. Together, they make a noodle dough. the noodles already. <laughs> this dough is so sticky. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I ruined it. Oh, sorry, Rainbow Ruby. Huh? Oh. Ah. Hey, the extra flour helped. It's not sticky anymore. Uh, Thanks, Thunderbell. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, Choco? <laughs> Noodles! It's like magic. I figured out that when you stretch it, it gets longer and thinner. The twisting and folding helps make all the noodles. Now let's cook them in hot water. says it's time to take the noodles out. Ta-da! We've got noodles. <laughs> Woohoo! You did it, Rainbow Ruby. You actually made noodles. <laughs> huh? What is it, Ling Ling? It's just that the noodle tree's noodles are very long, just like the tree's long life. And they're all the colors of the rainbow. He's right. Huh? It's true. Long and huh? pretty. Hmm. I need to figure out how to make them super long and colorful. What's that, Choco? The recipe book says berry juice can be used to color food? Hmm. That's a great idea. There's a whole crop of rainbow berries on Rainbow Village Farm. They're very colorful. Perfect! Gina, do you think you can fly your ship to the farm and bring back lots of juicy rainbow berries to color the noodles? Rainbow Rhythmic idea, Rainbow Ruby! Back in a flash! <laughs> now let's figure out how to make the noodles longer. Hmm. My arms are too short to stretch really long noodles all by myself. I'll need a volunteer. Don't worry, Rainbow Ruby. I'm holding on nice and tight. Long noodles coming right up. Thunderbell, wait! Stretch, 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 stretch. Stretch. Rainbow Berry Delivery! It's a berry bonanza! <gasps> a giant noodle monster! I'll save you, Rainbow Ruby! Whoop. Longer noodles. Perhaps my trunk could be useful. Great idea! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ling Ling. Your trunk is great for stretching out noodles. <laughs> Have to find a 
find a way to get the juice from these berries onto the noodles. <laughs> That's it! The poppies can squish the juice from the berries. Ruby. <gasps> Where did you learn to do that? Um, Choco taught me. Come in. I've been concentrating on finding a new idea for a toy. I can help. Huh. Uh, I'm going to go look at my toys to get some ideas. <laughs> Hurry, Choco. They need our help in Rainbow Village. You're here. Something's terribly wrong with Princess Kiki. What happened, Marilyn Link? Well, it's. Oh, you better come see for yourself. Oh. Hi, guys. Uh. What are you looking at? Huh? Oh. Now that's something I haven't seen before. Oh, we have no idea why she's floating. We tried everything, but we can't wake her. Hmm. hmm. Maybe there's a clue inside her castle. Come on. Yeah. Let's go look. Excuse me, big box thingy. Huh? Huh? I've never seen this box before. Mm. Hmm? Hmm? It's a note from Princess Kiki. Mm. Huh? Dear friends, <gasps> I only have a short time to write this because I'm falling under a sleep enchantment. It happens to princesses. A sleep enchantment? <gasps> so that's it. To wake me up, please have this music box play as it uh -huh. moves around me in a circle. Heartfelt thanks, Princess Kiki. Well, let's see if it works. Try letting it go. It's working. Huh? Huh? Oh. We'll turn it much more this time. Poor 
little Kiki floating up there like a balloon. Hmm. Ah, I've got it. If the music box can't play music around Princess Kiki, we'll make the music ourselves. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. <laughs> and we'll all form a marching band. I've got my marching baton to twirl and keep the rhythm, a flag for Chalco to wave as we march, <laughs> and a whistle to signal everybody. We'll march around Princess Kiki playing the same music as the music box. Rock and rainbows! Great idea! <laughs> Thunderbell, will you please round up some more friends to play in our band? Oh, I'm on it, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Before we march to wake up Princess Kiki, let's practice playing the song. One, two, three, and... so much bigger than you, maybe he should take the horn. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, works for me. Uh. Oh. And you can have his flute. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> much better! That flute was tricky with my big hands, but I have plenty of puff. <laughs> Now let's try playing while we march around Princess Kiki. Ready? Let's march! <laughs> oh no! What happened? Sorry, Rainbow Ruby. I guess we all marched at different speeds. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I know. I'll toot the beat on my whistle for everyone to hear. That way, we'll all march to the same rhythm. Let's try again. One, two, three, and... Why don't 
don't you try playing your trunk. My trunk? I've never played a song like this on my trunk before. Oh. <laughs> Perfect! Ready to finally wake up Princess Kiki, everyone? Yeah! Yeah! That idea, Ruby. How'd you come up with it? Oh, I get lots of ideas. Playing with my toys. <laughs> I can't wait for these seeds to grow into flowers. <laughs> huh? Sounds like the birds are having a party up there. <laughs> Down here, too. Huh? Um, I think Chuck would feel better in my room, away from these birds. Oh. Okay, hon. Thanks for your help. Hurry, Chucko. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Ready, Chucko? See if he knows what's going on. Let's go. Good luck, Rainbow Ruby. Huh? <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Hey, Mr. Sloth. Hi, Chirpy. Hello, Rainbow Ruby. I just came from Town Square, where there are a bunch of little birds that look like Chirpy. Do you know who they are? Chirpy's friends. They've come for a visit, and we're going to greet them. Friends? I wonder why they're bothering everyone, flying at their heads. That's where they like to stand, on heads, just like Chirpy. I sure hope everyone makes them feel welcome. Mm. Stand on heads? So that's what they're trying to do. Choco, let's hurry back and tell everyone. Chirpy's friends. They're nice. They just love standing on people's heads. Ooh. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. I wouldn't 
didn't mind the standing so much. Huh? It's all the slip sliding around that's the problem. Hmm. I need to figure out something for the birds to stand on so they won't slip off. And that's comfortable for all of you. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. I'll design hats that look good and feel good and are good for standing birds, too. I've got my sewing kit, a sketch pad and pencil to draw designs, a measuring tape for measuring heads, and felt, cardboard, feathers, jewelry, and flowers for making the hats. Thunderbell, you can be first. <laughs> Follow me to the design studio. too round and slippery for the birds to stand on. Maybe something like this. Huh? So, what do you think? <gasps> I love it! My ears can stand up inside! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Getting the size of your head. <sighs> Making the shape of the hat. <laughs> Wow! Looks great! How does it feel? Uh, hmm? Uh, um, it feels a little tight around the ears. Hmm, looks like we still need more space for your ears. <laughs> ah, ooh, I like it. Hopefully the birds will, too. Tell everyone I'm here to design hats if they want one. You got it. Thanks, Rainbow Ruby. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I love it. It's very royal. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy their visit if they keep falling off. Birdies fall down! Uh, 
I need to figure out how to make the hats easier for the birds to stay on. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mr. Sloth. <laughs> huh? Chirpy stays on oh. holding the sprout on top of Mr. Sloth's head. Hmm. How can I make the hats like that? Hmm. Kiki, has your bird been there all this time? Oh, yes. She's quite settled. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. That's it. These birds are happy standing on something long and thin, like Mr. Sloth's sprout and Kiki's feathers. So I just need to add something like that to the other hats. <laughs> I've got some feathers, flowers, and some other things that should help the birds stand on your hats. <laughs> it works! The birds can stay on! Just like Chirpy. <laughs> <laughs> a little thunder and a little bird make me extra dapper. <laughs> 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 oh, just something for the birds. <laughs> what a lovely idea. Yep, I know about making birds happy. Is everything all right, Ruby? I'm trying to make an airplane, but... Uh, it's just not working! It's okay, Ruby. Just take a breath. <sighs> Stay calm, keep focused. Okay. Huh? But I think I'll take a little break and work on it later. Sure, sweetheart. Looks like they need us in Rainbow Village. Uh. Hurry, Choco, hop on! Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Started this morning, Thunderbell was going to take a bath. So he decided to try his new super extra bubbly bubble bath. That's when the trouble began. That's when we 
called you. <laughs> Help me, Rainbow Ruby! Oh. <laughs> to know why that bubble keeps getting bigger and floating higher. Huh? Hmm. Uh-huh. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. <laughs> How can I help? What do I need to do this job today? How can I help? What do I need to say? Becoming a scientist. I'll do experiments to help understand why Thunderbell's bubble is growing and rising. Then we can figure out how to get him down safely. These goggles will protect my eyes while I use the tools in my science kit to do experiments on the bubbles I'll blow. And I'll keep track of everything on this notepad. Gina, can you please keep an eye on Thunderbell while I do some experiments? Roger that, Rainbow Ruby. I'll go get my ship. To rescue Thunderbell from his bubble, we need to learn more about how bubbles work. Hmm. The more air I blow into the bubble, the bigger it gets. Thunderbell's bubble keeps going higher in the sky. Huh? Uh, now I get it. It's not just air. It's hot air in the bubble that makes it float up in the sky. I think Thunderbell's making hot air with his breath when he yells. The hot air is filling up the bubble, making it get bigger and rise higher. Oh my, oh my. So if he keeps yelling, it might float all the way up to the clouds. Hmm. But when the hot air cools, it comes down. <gasps> That's it! We need to help Thunderbell calm down so he won't put more hot air in the bubble. <sighs> <laughs> huh? Oh my, oh my. Oh no! We have to hurry! We need to keep Thunderbell's bubble close so we can calm him down. I think I can climb up and get him. Hope this 
this works. <clears throat> Take a breath now, soft and slow. Close your eyes, let your troubles go. Think happy thoughts, both sweet and kind. You can do it, relax, unwind. <sighs> happy thoughts! <sighs> Thunderboot, snacks, scooters, more snacks, more Thunderfruit. Coming down too quickly. And right on top of the pokey part of Town Hall. Choco, we need lots of bubbles to bump Thunderbuzz Bubble away from Town Hall. Gina, can you help Choco? You betcha, Rainbow Ruby. See that? You just had to stay calm and keep focused. Yep, works every time. Distracted you. Huh? Uh, I know. I'll go upstairs and write Dad an apology. Mm-hmm. Uh. <sighs> uh. Hurry, Choco. It looks like we're needed in Rainbow Village. Ready, Choco? Mm. Thank you for coming, Rainbow Ruby. Sure, Marilyn Link. How can I help? Apparently, Thunderbell made a terrible mistake, and he says Mr. Sloth won't ever forgive him. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Mr. Sloth. Come on, Choco. Let's see if we can help Thunderbell <laughs> feel better. <laughs> Thunderbell, I spoke with Mayor Ling Ling. Are you okay? Mm, no. Oh. Things will never be the same again. I'm really messed up. Hmm. Oh. And I lost my best friend. What happened? It was all a big mistake. <laughs> I was on my way to deliver Mr. Sloth's new tree branch bed. <laughs> and when I looked back, it was gone! Mr. Sloth was...
was so excited about his new bed. <laughs> He'll never speak to me again. <laughs> he will. Why don't you just explain to Mr. Sloth what happened? Just apologize. I tried, but when I called up to his tree, he wouldn't even turn to look at me. I think I may have lost my best friend in the whole world. Now I have no one to go with to the ballet and the jazz dance show. Not to mention the musical play we were going to see together. Oh. It sounds like Mr. Sloth likes performances. Uh, <laughs> likes them. He loves a good show. Hmm. In order to help, I'll have to think of a really special way to show Mr. Sloth just how much Thunderbell cares and how sorry he is for losing the bed. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. Choreographer. I'll think of moves to a dance and show everyone how to do it. Then we'll put on a big dance show with all of our friends for Mr. Sloth so Thunderbell can show how sorry he is. I'll draw on my whiteboard to show the dancers where to move when they do their dance steps. This megaphone will help everyone hear me, and my music player will play our dance music. <laughs> we'll call it that I'm really sorry for losing your tree bed dance. Uh... But I already tried to apologize and he didn't want to listen. Do you really think he'd come to hear this big apology? Hmm. I know. We'll make it a surprise for Mr. Sloth at the park. We'll tell him to come to the park for an important meeting and then surprise him with the apology performance. Huh? What is it, Choco? Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. At the end of the dance, Thunderbell can swoop in with a big finish. Hmm. Mr. Sloth will be so touched, he'll just have to forgive you. Yes! Woohoo! Let's do it! Thunderbell, uh, will you please round up our friends and bring them to the Rainbow Village Theater? We've got a lot of practicing to do. Thanks for coming, everybody. Ready to learn a big group dance to help Thunderbell <laughs> apologize to Mr. Sloth? Anything for Thunderbell. Happy to help a friend. Yay, dance! <laughs> so, we'll invite Mr. Sloth to the park. When he gets there, they'll be spread out all around, like you're just there to play. Oh. Then, as I walk Mr. Sloth through the park, the music will start, and you'll each join in one by one until we get to the middle. Then, we'll do a little dance. Is that where I do my big finish? That's right, Thunderbell. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Ready to learn the dance, everyone? Oh, yeah! yeah! We sure are. <laughs> Okay, everyone, first we walk four steps forward, just like Mr. Sloth. One and two and three and four. Then four steps back, hands in the air. One and two and three and four. That's it, four steps up, four steps back. Okay, everyone, let's try from the beginning. <laughs>
Ruffles. Oh? Oh, Thunderbell? Please forgive me. That was amazing. But what are you apologizing for, Thunderbell? He wanted to show how sorry he was for losing your bed. <laughs> I feel terrible. And when you wouldn't look at me when I came to visit, well, I just hope you'll accept my apology. <laughs> you didn't need to do all this. Are you kidding? I wanted to. Because nothing means more than our friendship. No, I mean you really didn't need to. Oh. Felicia found the package in the forest and brought it to me. I must have been taking a nap in my new bed when you came to visit, and I didn't hear you. That's why I didn't look at you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the best news ever! Did you hear that? <laughs> he was sleeping! Sleeping! <laughs> huh? I could never be mad at you, Thunderbell, but doing all of this just goes to show you're the best friend ever. <laughs> Whatever.